Welcome to the third video in my series on how to make a 3D game in Unity. In this video, we will be attaching the camera to the player so that it can follow him around as he moves, like shown here. Let's begin. Right now we've added some basic movements to our player. And if we can hit play, we see that our camera doesn't follow our player. So we want to attach the camera to the player. Now, if you wanted to, you could go ahead and simply drag the main camera down to the player like that and make it attach to it. But we want something a little more customizable than this. So we're going to log out of that, hit Control Z, and the first thing we're going to do is we're going to create a new C -sharp script called Camera Controller. And we're going to open our C -sharp script and go into Visual Studio. So the very first thing we're going to do is we're going to create a public transform. We're going to type public transform and we're going to name it target. So when we, as before, when we type public, it means that we're going to be able to add or take away something in the Unity editor. Transform simply means is that the public item we want is going to be the transform of the object. We don't, we don't want our camera to follow the game object as much as we want to have it follow the game object's movement. So that's why we're using transform. And down here in update, what we want on a frame by frame basis is that we're going to say transform dot look at and in it we're going to put target dot transform so well let's spell transform right so what this means is that this transform right here is the camera and look at is a automatic function that the Unity uh, provides in C Sharp. And what we're telling it to look at is the target we're going to assign is the transform of the player. So we're going to save this and we're going to go back into our editor and we're going to go to our camera and we're going to take this script oops, and we're going to attach it to our camera. And right here is our script, and right here is the unassigned target we created. Now we have to put a transform in that, which is going to be the player. So now when we hit play, our camera will follow our target around. However, the camera is stuck in one spot. And we want him to move, or it to move, with the player as it goes around the screen. To get our camera to move with the player, we are going to go back into our C-sharp script. The first thing we're going to create is a public vector 3 and we're going to call it camera offset. And what a vector 3 is is simply a position in space. We have declared our vector 3 here and we have given it a name. Over here in the start menu we are going to define our camera offset as equal to target dot position minus transform dot position. So what we've done here right after we spell position right, what we've done here is that we've defined our camera offset as the target position, which is our player, minus the camera position, which is right here under transform.position. Down here, we're going to make sure it updates every frame so that it adjusts to the movement. So we're going to have transform.position is going to equal target.position minus camera offset. So that should be squared away. We're just going to hit save. 
we're going to go back into the Unity Editor. We're going to let it load a moment. And before we begin, we're actually going to go ahead and include another 3D object to give us a little bit of reference so we can see our object moving around. So we'll just 0.0, .0 for his position. That's good enough for what we're doing. Uh, we'll make it a little bigger. Make it 5 by 5 by 5. Actually, we will raise it up a little bit to the ground so that we can it'll be easier for us to see our movements over here in the main camera you can see the camera offset is given these vectors 0 0 0 so now when we hit play we're going to see that our camera now moves with our player we have some smoothing to do with the movement but we have gotten what we wanted here. Uh, the next thing we're going to do actually is we're going to give ourselves a better view that's more in line with uh, most games played. We're going to lift our camera up a little bit and now we can see we can see it happening over here in the camera preview and we'll move them forward a little bit and then we're going to come over here to our rotation and I believe it's going to be this one. We'll rotate him minus five Oops, that was the wrong direction. We'll say we'll move 10. That's good enough for now. So we're going to save our progress. To fix our shaking character, the problem is, is that our camera is shaking. And the reason why it's shaking is because the camera and the player are trying to update at the same time. That's easy to fix. So we're just going to make a late update and we're going to take everything in here. We're just going to cut this and paste this and then we're going to get rid of our void update. Voila! And we're simply going to save and now our camera and our player won't be trying to update each frame at the same time. Close our script. We're going to let it load for a second. We're going to hit play and now there we go we have some nice smooth movement speed in the future we are going to be adding more features to our camera so that it will self adjust like the camera does in the games breath of the wild or ocarina of time but first i want to get our character model in the game and work on polishing his movements and animations which we will be doing in the next video thank you for watching like my video, subscribe to my channel, and follow me on Facebook and Twitter, and support me on Patreon. All links in the description below. See you next time.